One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Mm-hmm. Jesus! Okay, so I multiply 40 by 5, remove the 3 for the Trinity, then multiply that number of chapters in Genesis, and that gives me the number 16. Okay, 16, and then that number means that the Ark was actually made of cotton and sheep's blood. That can't be right. Let me try again. What are you doing? Oh, hey, stupid. I'm just doing some calculations. Some athe idiot said that the Bible doesn't have all the answers, so I gotta prove him wrong. With a calculator? It's Bible numerology. There are numbers in the Bible that have meaning. If you take those numbers and calculate them correctly, not only can you discover God's true message, but you can predict the future. I don't think you'd understand. It's math. And you hate math. Almost as much as I hate crackpot belief systems. So this isn't like the people who took out all the spaces between words in the Bible and found hidden word messages. What was it called? The Bible Jumble? See how dumb you are? No, that's the Bible code. This is different. This is science. No, it's not. Then it's mathematics. It's not that either. Look, all I know is that certain numbers appear over and over in the Bible. That can't be a coincidence. Yeah, I know. I mean, with a book that big, how could certain numbers possibly repeat in different chapters? I will note your sarcasm and bring it up at a later time. Then tell me, give me an example of the power of Bible numerology. Seriously? Yeah. In the immortal words of the great thinker Pat Benatar, hit me with your best shot. Um, okay. Take the number two. There are two testaments, the old and the new. There are two poles, north and south. The disciplines, uh, does the disciples were told to go out two by two. I in the scriptures, there are two places for souls, for the saved heaven and for the others hell. There are two witnesses of God, Moses and Elijah. God has two kingdoms, the kingdom of God, which is spiritual, and the kingdom of heaven, which is literal. There are two natures, the old Adamic nature and the new nature from God, which cannot sin. Can I counter-argue the meaninglessness of that? Gary? The importance of number two. In Middle Earth, there are two books, The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. There were two sets of Hobbit companions, Merry and Pippin and Samwise and Frodo. There were the two towers. That's not the same. Okay, then how's this? The importance of the number two, In the Cat in the Hat. There were two things, thing one and thing two. There were two children, not to mention that the book was published in 1957. So? So, if you add the numbers in 1957 together, you get 22. Oh, me, me, I got one. Hmm? Yeah, all right. But nothing too nutty. The number of remote controlled drones to hit the World Trade Center on 9-11? Two, the number of- Okay, I'm cutting you off right there. Ah! See, Fundy, numerology doesn't mean anything. The numbers were mentioned in the Bible. Big deal. Numbers are everywhere. Only crazy people assign them meaning. Then I'm crazy for Jesus because these numbers mean something. Look, if I take the number of commandments and multiply them by the number of people that God created in Genesis, then divide that sum by the number of donkeys that Jephthah had, you get, um, 75, I think. Wow. 75? Can you believe it? Wow. So? So? 75 means that in 2013, a man of great importance may or may not choke on a spoonful of oat grass. What? Yeah. What? I must have gotten the number of donkeys wrong. Just a second. He's about as good as that Harold Camping guy. That man is a saint. You'll see, the world will end this year. October is only, um... Two months away. Creepy. I got goosebumps. What do you jerks think? Is numerology a direct line to God's intentions? Or is recognizing patterns a human trait that can sometimes get away from us and cause problems? That in a world dominated by numbers, that numeric coincidences can occur? Comment or make a video response. Wait, wait, I forgot to factor in the number of cubics for the water level in the flood story. So now the total I have is, uh, 69. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs>
69, huh? <laughs> you know that that takes two people. <laughs> Stop it! You know that stuff upsets him. <laughs> what? What's wrong with 69? I kind of like that number. In fact, you could say that I love 69. Me too! <laughs> what? What's so funny? Nothing, nothing. It's just good to know that you like 69. <laughs> yeah, it's got real spiritual symmetry to it. Like that other number that I like, 420. Hey guys. Thanks, all I ask is for the topic. Uh, not much to update, but I did drop off the sock account puppet um, prize in the mail. Uh, that puppet dude will be traveling off to the tropical paradise of Scotland. Uh, I've always wanted to go to Scotland, but with its sandy beaches and warm blue water, beautiful sunsets, smoking volcanoes, tropical drinks served to you in coconuts. Oh, and it's Hawaii. I've been to Hawaii several times, in fact. Where did I mail it again? Here, here, watch this exciting uh, post office footage. Post office? Whoa! That was exciting! Monkey Tail 2002, your puppet is on the way. Um, the lady said six to ten days. Sorry. Um, so, until next time, this is Jason with a D. And apparently that D is the D I get in geography. Who mixes up Scotland and Hawaii? I know that this is the part of the video where we thank new subscribers, but I know what really happens here. The US government is secretly using us to send coded messages to operatives in Pago Pago, the only island that provides the world's richest guano. The Illuminati know the strategic importance of that island. How does it feel, Jason, to know that your channel is being used by the men to further expand their grip on the world's guano market? Read the names, AJ. Okay. Prepare to get your instructions, secret agents. The Atheist Mon. Typhoon the Reaper. Raccoon Solid. Trent Troop. The Sam Rules. The Creative Nothing. The Barking Atheist. Anastasia One Me One Canter. Beat Nick Sifu. Sid 891000. I have no doubt that you are now decoding the signal that is piggybacking on this channel. Please rethink your allegiances. You don't have to be spies working for the Illuminati. Bird guano should be free for all. AJ. Sorry. Welcome to the channel, you guys.